A router loader is a strategy available in quick to execute async operation, for example to fetch data in the server and to consume them in any quick component. Router loader can only be declared in the router folder, in the layout TSX or the in index TSX files, and they are triggered after a root change, so when users visit the page where they are used. In this example, you can see how we define a router loader that is simply a function that fetch and returns some data. Any quick component, even children, can then import and use a router loader, and they will be automatically invoked when the page that contains them is mount. Anyway, the whole page will be rendered only when all async operations are completed. So, as we said, the router loader must be declared in layout or index.tsx file. A router loader can be used to get data from a database by using a REST API and, or a RAM or SDK. Since they run on server, they can contain secret data, such as an API key, token, and so on, and they won't be exposed on the client. You can define multiple router loaders in a file, and the page won't be rendered until all of them are completed. And the data you got from router loader can be consumed by any quick component. So, let's see how it works. We can declare one or more router loader in index or layout TSX files. Any component can consume them, the router loader is invoked on server that can fetch data in several ways, and data are returned on the component that is always rendered on the server. So, a component can consume multiple router loaders. All data is fetched on server, and the page is always rendered on server when all loaders are completed. And that's all for this video. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on LinkedIn where I often share content and tips on the front-end world.